everyone. It's Brett Riches from runforfit.com and today I'm going to be doing a minimalist running shoe review. I'm going to be talking about what wear testers are saying about the Vivo Barefoot Motus minimalist running shoe for forefoot running. Most of us have feet that are in an incredibly vulnerable state. It's incredibly important to wear a barefoot running shoe that aggressively engages your feet both physically and sensorily. Sensorily just means that it boosts nerve function. Barefoot running shoes prevent foot health from eroding like they do in traditional running shoes, which traditional athletic footwear leads to worse and worse consequences. This is why the traditional running shoe should not be worn for running, especially if you are a new runner learning forefoot running. To end dangerous running behavior, consider running in the barefoot running shoe, the Vivo Barefoot Motus. In fact, runners who wear barefoot like running shoes demonstrate more resilience and less foot injuries than traditional running shoe wears. And being able to feel everything you step on like you would in a barefoot running shoe is a good problem to have because you develop a more reactive, more responsive, reflexive withdrawal of the leg, which is going to give you that nice high back kick that so many great Ethiopian runners have. And this is what you need to really make a difference to run more cautiously and more lightly. Based on hundreds and hundreds of anecdotal reports, scientific research has also found that barefoot running shoes have a large measurable impact on improving toe strength, arch strength, and ankle strength as well. In contrast, if you continue to wear traditional running shoes, all you will have is a continual loss of adequate foot function. I think most minimalist runners should get excited about the Vivo Barefoot Modus running shoe because the shoe makes it easier to overcome foot problems and running form flaws. The Modus was clearly designed to mimic the barefoot experience, which will help you change your heel strike running style to a safer, non-injurious forefoot running style. So this is what minimalist wear testers are saying about Vivo Barefoot Modus running shoes. The Vivo Barefoot Modus is great for all physical activities, especially running. I especially love the Velcro strap edition, which fits over the laces to secure the laces to ensure that the laces never come undone. The wide toe box enhances balance when running because it gives you more room for toe splay. So that's another added benefit I love about all Vivo Barefoot running shoes, especially the Vivo Barefoot Modus, is that they do have an exceptionally large, wide, roomy toe box. The Modus has an ultra thin flexible 4.5 millimeter thin V move outsole that has a hexagonal tread pattern that will markedly improve your landing strategy when you run and provide good grip as well. The outsole of the Motus is a tad thicker than most Vivo Barefoot running shoes, but you still get strong sensory signals in the Motus, which is helpful for enabling you to avoid heel striking when you run. Overall, the Motus offers more access to a sensory tactile stimulation on the bottom of the feet than the traditional running shoe. So the Motus will definitely help you restore sensory plantar processing better than if you were to wear the traditional running shoe. Having a super thin outsole, as in the Motus, really helps you recognize how you are stepping when you run, which can really help improve your running performance and your running performance can take off because you won't be stepping as impulsively on your heel like you would be if you were to be running in the traditional running shoe. Even though the Modus has an outsole thinner than the traditional running shoe, I must emphasize that the outsole of the Modus is thicker than most Vibram five-figure running shoes. So with that said, the Modus provides better ground feel than the traditional running shoe, but not as good clear ground feel as in the Vibram five-fingers. Nonetheless, the outsole of the Modus is thin and doesn't undermine nor does it interfere with your foot strike awareness, and it still delivers good earth feel, which spreads to improving biomechanics when you run and when you walk. I also like that the outsole of the Modus is super durable. It feels pretty puncture resistant, which is good for running long distances on the road. The added material of the Modus makes the shoe more stable in its structural framework than the Vibram Five Fingers. 
The only thing is that the modus just isn't as fully flexible like the V-Burn Fat Fingers, but the modus is still tremendously more flexible than any traditional running shoe by far. The good thing is, however, the modus is still flexible enough to invite natural foot motion so that your foot does retain and develop better strength. The upper is durable yet light and is breathable so you can wear the modus comfortably in warmer weather. The modus comes with a removable insole so depending on what you prefer you can remove the insole to get better ground feel or you can leave in the insole for added comfort. Different strokes for different folks depends on what you like. The modus is great for running on grass. They grip well especially during more agile activities like tennis, volleyball, basketball, rock climbing. The modus has more rock protection in the forefoot, particularly the tip of the toes. So this makes the shoe pretty valuable for running in the trails. They are more grippy than the Morel trail gloves. So that's all the goodness of the Vivo Barefoot Motus. Because of the traditional running shoe, many runners have been held back as the main obstacle for healthy feet is having good flexibility and good ground feel in a running shoe. The Vivo Barefoot Modus puts you on a positive path for running, giving you good foot health and good running form sustainment to really make a difference in resolving your running ailments. Like most barefoot running shoes, the Vivo Barefoot Modus are certainly a treasure for your feet. For more information on how to run properly, that is for more information on the health benefits of forefoot running versus the health harming effects of heel strike running, please head on over to my blog, runforfoot.com, where you will also find more reviews and recommendations on barefoot inspired footwear that I feel are best suited for forefoot running. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated on all the latest research regarding the biomechanics of running and how to run with no injury and how to run more efficiently. Thanks for listening and watching. Have fun out there on the roads. Bye for now.